Proton therapy is a modality of cancer treatment that targets cancer cells using positively charged subatomic particles called protons. Due to the unique physical properties of protons, tumors can be targeted more precisely compared to conventional radiotherapy. This results in less damage to nearby healthy tissues and organs and hence less treatment-related side effects. Conventional radiotherapy delivers X-rays to the tumor. X-rays are electromagnetic waves that carry no charge, which allows it to penetrate from one end of the body to another. As the X-ray beam travels along inside the patient, this results in some extra radiation dose deposited in the patient beyond the depth of the tumor. This may cause additional damage to nearby healthy tissues and thus cause unwanted side effects. Proton therapy delivers a beam of positively charged particles that have a lower entrance dose and also stop at a limited depth. This physical property of protons results in a significantly lower dose distal to the intended target. This makes it less damaging to healthy tissues. Proton therapy has also been shown to produce fewer side effects when compared to conventional radiotherapy in certain tumors, for example, in pediatric cancers. We have installed the state-of-the-art Hitachi Cyclotron equipped with pencil beam scanning technology, commonly known as PBS. PBS uses spot scanning technology, which allows radiation oncologists to treat a tumor by delivering discrete spots of proton therapy, the intensity of which can be adjusted to achieve the desired treatment dose. The proton beam is delivered in very small spots, layer by layer in an organized fashion. This enables the treatment of complex shaped tumors and spares the normal tissues and organs by reducing nearby radiation doses. There are two main advantages of proton therapy. Firstly, lowered radiation doses to nearby healthy tissues and organs reduces treatment side effects both in the long and short term. Secondly, in certain situations, we may actually be able to deliver a higher dose to the tumor with protons compared to x-rays. This leaves the potential for better outcomes for tumor control. The planning and delivery of proton therapy shares many similarities to conventional radiotherapy. Patients will first undergo immobilization and then a CT simulation scan. Immobilization refers to securing the patient in the same position for each and every treatment. Devices such as a mask or shell are commonly used. Medical dosimetrists, physicists and radiation oncologists work together to generate the proton plans on a treatment planning system. The proton plan is customized for each and every patient and becomes a blueprint to deliver the proton beam during each treatment. Before each treatment, the radiation therapist will position and immobilize the patient. By rotating the nozzle around the patient, along with a high-precision robotic couch, the beam can be delivered from any angle to target the tumors with pinpoint accuracy. A high degree of accuracy can be achieved as the beam can deliver a spot size as small as two millimeters across. The treatment rooms are equipped with imaging systems to enable us to position the patient for precise beam delivery. Side effects of radiation treatment depend on the body part that is being treated. For example, patients undergoing head and neck treatment may experience skin redness or difficulties with swallowing, whereas patients undergoing radiation to the pelvis may experience diarrhea or possibly discomfort when passing urine. While proton therapy is expected to have the same type of side effects as conventional radiotherapy, a reduced dose to normal organs allows the severity of such side effects to be much reduced. The important thing to remember is that the entire team will be there to support your child through the course of radiotherapy. Proton therapy itself does not cause any pain. 
the most challenging part is for patients to lie completely still throughout the entire treatment. Our radiotherapists will ensure the process is comfortable, perhaps by playing music or even using additional cushions. Occasionally, we may need to give anesthesia so that your child will be able to sleep through the entire session. Yes, proton therapy is definitely more advantageous in two ways. Firstly, the lower dose to developing tissues lowers the risk of side effects, including growth and developmental abnormalities. Proton therapy also lowers the risk of radiation-related cancers later on in life. Though the risk is very small, children are still more sensitive to radiation, hence we want to minimize this risk as much as possible. Secondly, proton therapy may allow us to give higher doses for certain conditions. This may allow us to improve the cure rate for these conditions. Thank you.